Good morning, Timothy Christian School. Today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. It's good to bring your morning greeting today from my house here. Um, greeting today is a high five. So high five everybody in your family. I also have a verse for you today. It is from Hebrews, thir Hebrews 13, verse 15. So, through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that confess his name. I love the book of Hebrews. I really enjoy reading it. My sharing with you today is this painting that's behind me. It reminds me of the incredible love of God. I love the colors. They're nice and soft, which suits the room that they're in. I also love the image. The image is the image of a man, and it is as though he's on the cross. It's not to symbolize Christ. It's to remind us of his sacrifice on the cross and of God's incredible love for us in giving his son for us. Thank you, God. Um, it's fun to share with you some of the art that hangs in my home. Now, my activity for today isn't really super active, like running around or something like that. But it is a prayer thing that you can do while you're walking and, and running around today. So <clears throat> there's five things I have to pray for. You choose four families from in your class or in the school who maybe people that you don't always talk with but people and people you haven't talked with recently, but people who you um, feel on your heart to pray for. You can pray for them for joy in the Lord, pray for peace in these circumstances, pray for patience as we're learning in new spaces, pray for faithfulness as we walk with God, and pray for love as we love our neighbor as ourselves. So joy, peace, patience, faithfulness, and love. So the morning message comes from Hebrews. And there's a lot written about sacrifice in, in throughout the Bible, but in, especially in Hebrews. We hear clearly in the book of Hebrews that the perfect sacrifice for our sin was Jesus Christ. But then what can we do for God? We no longer have to bring sacrifices like in the Old Testament. We don't have to bring a lamb or a goat or a bull. Instead, we can get the instructions from Hebrews and apply them to our lives. If we think about that passage again, continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that confess his name. So our words, our actions, they fill us with joy in knowing Jesus. And it is a response to being in that joy with Jesus that we do good works, that we, that we have words that come from our tongue that are kind and good. It's a gratitude to God for what he has done. Our aim is to do good in serving him. So this is praise, and it's a praise for our whole life, our actions and our words in thanksgiving to God. So I would like to sing a song with you. Um, I'm going to share with you the words first because I'm alone, so I can't hold the words and play at the same time. So it is, we bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. And we offer unto you the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and we offer unto you the sacrifices of joy. So here we go. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the of praise into the house of the Lord, and we offer up to you the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and we offer up to you the sacrifices of joy. Let's pray together, shall we? God, you are incredible and most beautiful. We praise you, Lord, and give ourselves to you in thanksgiving and in adoration. Bless us all today, Lord, 
with your holy presence and with joy, with peace, with patience, with faithfulness, and with love. Amen. I hope you have a really great day. Bye.